obesity and what we do is we we make it fun and cool for kids to be healthy active and fit and we do that by exposing them to different uh, facets of fitness and each of our program consists of in introducing fitness nutrition and positive psychology this is actually really cool because I feel like letting kids kind of critically think about the way they live and start kind of thinking about taking control of, of the way that they present themselves the way that they can take care of themselves is super super important right yeah, I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a huge testament on it. Growing up, I was, I was, uh, I was very obese and I was bullied. I can't, I, can't, I was grew up in this. Uh, in the, uh, Okay, before I talk to Sabrina, I'm actually going to ask her to do a 
that's a pretty well. Um, we have a little tradition at the downtown podcast. We do a downtown Vegas uh, fortune of the week. So I'm going to get her to choose. Ready to begin? Sure. Ingredients. Can we get Alan? Can we handle it? Alan, please. Yes, thank you, Alan. Thank you, Alan. But she's a very well-known journalist here, and she's big in the vegan scene. So she's actually here to talk about the movement that's been kind of, not even gradually, but happening, but exploding in the Vegas scene, right? Absolutely, yes. It's amazing what's happening all over the city, and downtown in particular. Um, there are so many different options now. You can go all over the place and get everything from pizza and saucer to like chicken marcel and ravioli at the Triple George. It's really incredible. There's so many great options. I remember when I first moved here, it was kind of hard. Like when you take a vegan friend somewhere, you really want to take them somewhere where there's variety, right? And when you get stuck in some of the casino diners, that's not always a great choice for them. So you've kind of seen it explode, and, and now there's everything from like Triple George to all sorts of other places, right? Absolutely. I actually was gone for a couple of years, and I came back in May, and I was pleasantly surprised to find out how much you know growth we've seen um, in the vegan population here in town. Um, there's so many places, I actually have a list of places downtown, just downtown alone, mm -hmm. that have added vegan items to their menu, have, have separate vegan menus, um, it's really a cool thing, and I'm just so happy to be able to be here and, and talk about it. What is, what our appetite with, uh, with some of your list? Oh, some of my favorite places, um, well, I love pop-up pizza. It's in the plaza. It's like, where else yeah. do you get vegan pizza yeah. and vegan soft serve in a historic hotel, like downtown. It's, I, I love it. Um, there's the downtown farmer's market. We get vegan tamales. They have all these varieties of tamales. Um, they have, like I said, um, the Triple George. There's Nacho Daddy. Radio City has a great vegan pizza option. The Bronze Cafe is, I don't know if you see that downtown or not. But, um, I think it's downtown. They deliver to me and I have downtown. Oh, okay. <laughs> have you had the Tree of Life sandwich? Mm -hmm. Everybody's going crazy about this Tree of Life thing. I, I haven't had it yet, but I can't wait to try yeah, it. You really need to have it. Okay. There's so many things that I just, I'm like sort of on the list. Another one of them that I really want is at MTO, they have a vegan coconut carrot pancake. That sounds really, really good. I've had that as well. You have? <laughs> yes. They, they deliver to my house too. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're hanging out with you for a while. Yeah, um, so, and there's Simply Pure in Potato Park, which is raw food, and it's super yummy. And there's a new place opening, um, I have a scoop on that, it's called, what is it called? It's going to be across from Potato Park, it's called Veggie Nation, so that's kind of cool too. But yeah, there's so many, so many great things. A friend of mine, his name is Paul Graham, he wrote a book called Eating Vegan in Las Vegas. He has a popular blog, and he turned it into a book. And it's got all of the vegan listings all over town, and it's like the totally exhaustive list. He goes to all these places and blogs and posts, and um, you know, he is like his blog is like the go-to place for everything vegan, actually, because um, Happy Cow, which is the usual place that vegans go to whenever they're in a new city, it wasn't really the the best sort of um, the best spot for for everything. It wasn't totally like exhaustive or whatever. So he wrote this blog and he's got everything on there and it's really, really amazing. So all props cool. to him, yeah. And you also write on a blog too. So if people yeah. want to read his blog and they also want to read yours, like where do they need to go to? Well, my book's not out yet, actually, so I'm happy to be here. My book isn't isn't published yet, but it will be soon, hopefully. Um, it's going to be called The Pretty Vegans. But um, uh, you can go to The Pretty Vegan blog. So it's prettyvegan.com. That's my blog, and you can find me on Facebook and Twitter, yada yada, all that stuff. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us.
News things, yeah, like, dun, 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 some oh, horns, yeah. maybe. This just, yeah. Oh, forget it. You know what? I got this. Okay, no worries. Okay, so. <laughs> I can make horn noises if that's attractive to that. <laughs> 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 See? He's got it. I love the ESPN. That is awesome. Okay. No, that's no we, we're, we're partnering with, with uh, Grown Nevada, and they have uh, 60 gardens in school all around the, the valley. And uh, what they've been doing is growing an organic vegetable in their in their garden, right? At school. It's yeah. awesome. Listen, they've got waste because what happens? People don't like ugly veggies. What's wrong with us? They have the same nutrients, they have the same vitamins, they taste exactly you the mean same. Physically, you mean physically ugly? Physically ugly. Look, I, I brought Like a box. banana? No, that's... listen. No, check out this potato. Can oh! Okay, <laughs> <laughs>
friend Nick Brannigan and, and here in, in the audience. And so Consciouspreneur Fitness is a program that teaches entrepreneurs to take care of themselves, to make sure that even though you're sitting in front of your computer and you're working, 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 you also take time for yourself and you eat nutritious meals, that you take breaks, and that you're taking care of yourself. Because we can right. develop certain things hunched over the computer. I think that in the, in the past, in history, for uh, entrepreneurs, what people do is they somehow think that there's going to be an award for the person who sleeps the least and, and works seven days a week and never takes vacation. And you know, at 222 Evolve, with, with everything that we do, we encourage people to live a healthy, happy, easy lifestyle and to build that into your lifestyle, your work, your life. Make sure that in everything you do, you're bringing in that health, fitness, and that consciousness. Okay. But here's the problem, like, explain to me what I do when I'm, like, wanting to eat healthy, but I see pizza. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do I, how do I handle that whole thing? Listen, I'm not a purist. I always tell people, start where you are, okay? Okay. So if you want to eat pizza every now and then, I eat pizza every now and then, okay? Oh. I'm not a purist. I don't do everything perfect, but listen, if you're doing something, that's good. If you're giving yourself a gift for that day, that's good. If you're giving somebody else a gift for that day, it's good. I mean, how many of you have reached out to some friends that you've thought about and you haven't thought about in a long time? You know, I'm always shouting out to my girlfriends and being like, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. What's going on? And that's good enough. I'd really love to get together for coffee, but I can't, so I'm just going to send you this text. And I just encourage people, wherever you're at, just do something good for the community. Okay, that's good. Do you have any examples of anybody in the community that you've seen that has taken the step towards being more healthy, and maybe even yourself? That sure, helps? yeah. I, everything that I, I do, I try to encourage people to, to live a little bit healthier. We have uh, different kinds of programs. That's why we developed 222 Evolve, because people want to do good. They want to live a healthy, happy, easy life, but they don't know how. So we develop these community programs, the micro markets, uh, Consciouspreneur Fitness. We have farm to table dinners where we have five courses, five chefs, five farms, and we pair everybody up, right? Um, we have Eat, Laugh, Discover dinners where women, entrepreneurs, gather around a healthy meal and everybody can chat about a focused discussion. So this month, it is about uh, competition in business. Last month, it was about perseverance in business. And we create That's these cool. programs yeah. and we invite the community and all you gotta do is just show up, you know? Gosh, I don't have time for all that stuff. Okay. Um, so I think that it's important that everybody eats healthy. I'm gonna try to eat healthier because everybody says it's good for the brain, it's good for the body, you gotta do all this stuff. Um, and if, if these are, what's that? Toilet's out. Uh, yeah, well that's a whole different topic. For another day, audience, for another day. Um, but uh, but I, I, think it's, I think it's important, right? Like a few steps, and especially social learning. For me, it's like when I see other people eating or they're going to a healthy restaurant, like I'd rather go with them than like go to the unhealthy place by myself. So is there any kind of like social learning that you have like tied into this 222 thing or anything? Yeah, so that's why we created the program. So it's experiential learning, right? Our, our friend Shivana will tell you all about that. That's that's what she talks oh, about. Oh, that's my this. friend too. Yeah, no, she yeah. talks. No, I love her. You know, I love her. What up, what up, Shivana? Cool. Hey. And so it's, it's experiential learning because when you're gathered around a, a healthy meal and you've got your friends, you're going to be much more inclined to repeat that situation because it made you happy. And again, I just have to stress wherever you're at. Oh man. <laughs> Batteries, drop the mic. Drop you know the what? Mic Forget it. I don't even need it. So wherever wherever you're at, you can still just start where you're at and do something good. Okay. Um, give them the website and talk loud to that microphone because that's going to be the one to pick you up. Sure, the website, website is 222evolve.com. Twitter is 222evolve. Facebook, 222evolve. Oh, LinkedIn, wow. guess what? 222evolve. Instagram, on Instagram. Uh -oh. I'm there. Oops. <laughs> yeah. I took the wrong side of the mic off. Whatever works. Problem. It seems like something you'd be good at. <laughs> something complicated. It's tricky, so. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Is that it? No, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, it was a weird ending. No, but that's awesome. Thank you for weird. you know how crazy this I show love gets. Weird. Give that's a round of weird. applause. Thank you.
using my name as a volunteer. I appreciate it. Oh. Yeah, if I suffer from low self-esteem, I'd be fucking pissed, Dylan. <laughs> but I'm over it. I'm moving on. So the song I just played was Young at Heart. Why? Because today is National Senior Citizens Day. I consider myself a blue hair. Oh, that's good. You are the blue hairs. And blue hairs go out to dinner at 4.30. But I'm saying this is a problem. We need more senior citizens. It's not all about age, people. Just say, so who has a cat? Anybody? Yeah. Meow. Meow. Yeah, good. Tomorrow is the national Take Your Cat to the Vet Day. Yes! But superstition has it if you don't, your cat's going to die in seven days. You have to do it. Christina, you gotta take your cat to the vet tomorrow. Okay, it's really important. Yeah, does this Sue's have a cat? Yes. Uh, yeah? Okay, um, so, who has a boss? Anybody have a boss? You got the boss. No, no one has a boss here? This is weird. Tomorrow is National Hug Your Boss Day! Yes, it is! Anybody have a boss here right now with them in the audience? You do? Can you hug your boss? That would be sweet. You guys heard uh, Christina talk about it already. If you tweet at 222Evolve, hashtag ELD, you can get an exclusive invite to the women's only think tank, ELD, uh, Roast Organic Chicken. Yeah. That's what we're going to be having in Sangria. Yeah. I love it. Beautiful. I always tell the sponsors, you know, speak, you know, pithy, get, get to the point. And they don't often do that. This guy, you just did that. Yeah. I'm really impressed. Good job. Good job. I'm the one who likes to talk. August 28th, by the way, also happens to be National Bowtie Day. So I think the women on that event on the 28th, bow ties! Yes. You need to wear one on all women, yes. 
Yeah, you love it? You love me for that? Okay. Wear a bow tie. Yes, yes, yes. So, mid-September, there's another thing happening. It's about the consciouspreneur. It sounds very fancy. I like that word. On the count of three, everybody together say consciouspreneur. It's fun. One, two, three. Consciouspreneur. All right, Consciouspreneur Fitness. We got, we're teaming up with Rocketeer, uh, innovative, progressive uh, mentors for all the startups. I'm in charge of Consciouspreneur Fitness. You are an athlete 24 seven, and we're gonna teach you how to be the best athlete you can be yes. as an entrepreneur. It's a sport, it's a game, yeah. train for it. Yeah. Love it, 24 seven, you are an athlete, yes? Yes, 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 yes. September. I love it. So, uh, National Health Center Week was last week. There's a health center we all know about here in downtown Vegas, and they got something, you guys got something going on every single Friday night. Elaborate. All right, Turntable Health over on Bridge. Turntable Health! <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Order, uh, order online at 222evolve.com. Order organic, non-GMO, local produce. Pick it up on Friday. As you can see, we're big supporters of the ugly veggies. Yay. So, nice. There's the juice pack. Much cheaper than buying it at the store. Support local, support the farms, organic, non-GMO. Yeah. Love it. And then what's happening in uh, October? There's a big thing. In October. Get your little card. I know. Wrong card. <laughs> in October, it's the Reset Project, the Sunday Reset Project. We got some T-shirts here to give out. Yeah. We got one for Mac. Oh, so nice! Thank you. We're going to be talking all about consciouspreneurship, conscious living, and if, for those of you in that have never been to the Sunday Reset Project, that's at Turntable Health. First Sunday of every month, eight to eleven. All right, speaking of that and the shirts and all that stuff, we're going to do something that's really fun with you guys here. We need some volunteers. This guy is like a master at being able to assess your whole physical story in like 30 seconds. He did me, I was like, oh, that's crazy. Over the phone. Over the phone even, and he, he got it down like that. So uh, here's the thing, we don't have all the time in the world. We're going to need four volunteers because we got four shirts. He's going to assess you fast. You be quick. He will be quick. So, who is my first volunteer? I need to know what you do for a living. I'm a mechanic. A mechanic? What kind? Auto? How, how many hours a week you work? Okay, so everyone's an athlete 24-7. This guy's an auto mechanic and he's an athlete. So how are we going to train him? He's probably bent over the hood or you're underneath the car. Got to have a strong lower back, strong lower core. Forearms, I'm sure, need to be strong. We're going to do a lot of nerve glides, loosen up his ulnar nerve, and it'll probably make his hands and his arms feel a lot better. I met Kendall earlier drinking coffee, so we already know. <laughs> she's 14 years old and she's a student. So she's in better shape than all of us. Yes. There's no assessment needed. <laughs> behave your mom, behave at school, and stop drinking so much coffee. <laughs> Aaron, what do you do for a living? Aaron, what do you do for a living? I'm a street performer. Nice, what do you do? Musician. 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 What do you play? Uh, beatbox. <laughs> oh, you know what? We're gonna work on your neck. You're gonna have to loosen up his neck through his upper shoulders. You probably do a lot of this jutting forward of the head. Horrible for your spine. What actually happens is you end up with lower back problems and you think it's being caused by your hips or your lower back, but it's really coming from your upper thoracic. We can show him some mobility drills, easy head tilts. Nikki here knows all about head tilts and we can fix that up. That uh, sounds good. Nice. Yay! All right, Jay, it's good to have you up here. What do you do for a living? What do you do? Uh, I run three stores. You, with as my in, mother. She is my in, boss. What kind of stores? A toy store, a fashion store, and a music lifestyle store. So you're on your feet a lot. You know what the first thing I'd work on with you is sure. lots of recovery. I'd like to make sure you're sleeping well. If you aren't sleeping well, I'm going to tell you to eat ice cream. I do that. Yeah, yeah. nice. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, you know what? So carrying, yeah. things like that, lower core, lower back. What a lot of people forget about is their hip flexors. You think your lower back hurts, but it's really your tight hip flexors. And we would fix that up really easy. Ice cream before you go to bed. One serving, one serving only. Has to be really pure. 
All right, but it, it is, I mean, a lot of vegans here, I mean, does it matter if it's vegan ice cream? You know what? Is it okay if it's not? It, no. Unfortunately, you need the dairy. You need the dairy? Oh, vegans, what are you going to do? Just that. <laughs> Love some of your okay. ugly fruit. Isn't it adorable? I think it's ugly at all. Thanks, Christina. Okay, so, Mattel, you're a beautiful person, and I, I'm sure everybody knows that. So, it's wonderful that the fortune ended on you. I don't know, could you guys remind me? Mattel's lovely, we've had a long show before. So, you were in the fortunate position of being the last to hear the fortune, so it's your duty to deliver it to us for this week. And I shall proudly deliver it. What what came to me was, cats and bats will eat you, meow, in bed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, you're probably thinking that sounds really far-fetched, but, but there's a little bit of stuff in this that actually came out, which is great. So the fortune was, have you ever thought of vampires? What's your back tonight? <laughs> in bed. <laughs> I like it, I like it, and I think I prefer your fortune more than the original one. So thank you very much, and thanks everybody. We will see you next week.